Hello, and welcome to this course covering Introduction to Data Modeling. I'm Alan Simon, and I'm the president and managing principal of a boutique consulting firm called Thinking Helmet based out of Phoenix. Before working on my own, I led national and global practices specializing in data warehousing, enterprise data management, and analytics with some very large consulting firms and software companies. I also teach college courses in these subjects, as well as other business-oriented technologies. One common thread that's run through everything I've done professionally for more than 40 years now is a focus on data. In fact, back in the mid and late 1980s, I worked for a company called Digital Equipment Corporation that at the time was the second largest computer manufacturer behind IBM. My original job there was as a software developer for a product known internally as the Conceptual and Logical Database Design Tool. In other words, data modeling. And that's where my involvement in the world of data modeling began. We're all well aware that we're overwhelmed these days by incredibly large volumes of data everywhere we turn. We've fortunately been able to use modern capabilities such as various incarnations of big data technology to help us deal with this deluge of data. Yet at the same time, just as important as storing and retrieving the data itself is understanding the structure and meaning of that data, along with critically important business rules that are embedded in all of our data. And that's where data modeling comes in. Just as the name implies, we use various methodologies, techniques, and notations to help us model and get our arms around the meaning of our data, along with how different pieces of data relate to other pieces. Data modeling helps us take a step back to see the proverbial forest that is comprised of all of those trees, with the trees being all of our enterprise data. Just as an engineer first works with blueprints and design drawings and then builds prototypes of an airplane or an automobile or something similar, our data models serve a similar purpose in the life cycle of developing our systems and applications. Those of you who work with databases and data file systems of all sorts, from traditional relational database management systems to various forms of big data technology, know that you have many key decisions to make with regards to how you structure, store, and retrieve your organization's data. Yet too often, we find that we've overlooked critically important business rules and underlying meanings for that data. Worse, those aspects that we've overlooked have now rippled into our applications and websites and user interfaces, leaving us with costly rework and retrofitting to take care of. So if you are a professional database developer or application developer who works with data from an implementation specific point of view, but who hasn't yet had the opportunity or need to take a step back into the conceptual side of your organization's data, this course is perfect to get you started in this realm. In this course, you'll see that I switch you back and forth between several popular data modeling approaches and notations to give you a flavor of what real-world data modeling often requires you to do as you move from one project to another or from one company or client to the next. So stay tuned and welcome to the introduction to data modeling.